Good morning, one and all. I'm Akanksha Sadia, Faculty of Pharmacy, VNS Group of Institution. In the last lecture, we have discussed the classification of organic compound on the basis of structure. Today, we'll be discussing the classification of organic compound on the basis of functional group. So, let us see what is functional group. So, as the name suggests, a group which imparts some functions, right? Now, what are these functions? So, if we see the definition, functional groups are the atoms or groups of atoms or groups of atoms present in a molecule present in a molecule which gives which gives the molecule its characteristic chemical properties so functional groups are those uh, atoms or group of atoms which give that molecule its characteristic chemical properties as we are aware that there are two types of properties physical properties and chemical properties physical properties of a substance are those in which the identity of the identity of the substance is not changed the examples are color density melting point boiling point etc whereas chemical properties are those properties in which the identity of substance changes if we see the example like toxicity reactivity heat of combustion etc if i take a hypothetical uh, equation if we see the example for example if i take a compound right and if i react it with aqueous qa this is just a hypothetical equation to uh, uh, give you some idea right if i react this uh, butane with aqueous qa i'll get the new product what will be it will be ch2 ch2 oh so with the introduction of this oh group first of all this compound is no longer a butane now this is the alcohol right oh group uh, is the functional group of the class alcohol we'll be seeing it later on okay so with the introduction of this oh group first the compound will now be known as butanol okay with the presence of this oh group which is the functional group now the chemical properties the, that is the, its reactivity its stability will be different from the butane so the, that is why the functional group is very important uh, in the organic chemistry now if we see the different types of functional groups that what are the different types of functional groups we'll get to know more idea okay so <coughs> So we will be seeing class that is different types of functional group. Function group and examples. So the first category is first category is group containing group containing carbon carbon multiple bonds so the first in this group is alkenes so alkenes are the compounds in which carbon carbon double bond is present okay the example can be ethene okay so Alkene are the class in which double bond is present between the two carbon. An example can be ethene. Second is alkynes. Alkynes are the compounds in which carbon carbon triple bond is present. Example ethene. Okay. You can attach n number of carbon chain on both the side i'm just giving a simple example okay now the second group is the second type is groups containing elements like oxygen nit nitrogen halogen right sulfur etc so the first example in this category is alcohols 
so alcohols are, are the compounds containing hydroxyl group as a functional group attached to the alkyl chain this alkyl chain can range from c1 to cn that means you can attach the carbon ranging from n uh, c1 to cn okay if you see the example a simple example that is ch3oh it will be methanol you can write c2h5 okay so you can attach a number of carbon chain uh, in this alkyl in a place of this alkyl chain okay the second is <coughs> second is al alkyl halide <coughs> second is alkyl halides alkyl halides are, the, uh, are the, in this the compound contain the next in this category is alkyl halides alkyl uh, in this the compound contain carbon and halogen bond and the halogens are we know fluorine chlorine bromine iodine okay so the compound containing carbon halogen bonds are known as alkyl halide the example can be chloromethane okay or you can write any you can uh, write ch3f okay depending whatever you feel like right you can write here third is aldehyde third class is aldehyde in aldehyde the functional group that is a carbonyl compound a carbonyl group is present in aldehyde this carbonyl group is attached to hydrogen and one alkyl chain okay the examples example is acetaldehyde okay acetaldehyde you can say the example is ch3cho the next example is ketone again uh, a ketone and aldehydes are carbonyl compound the only difference is the in aldehyde the carbonyl group is attached to one hydrogen and one alkyl chain whereas in ketone the carbonyl group is attached to either same or different um, alkyl chain okay so ketone c double bond o r or r the two alkyl chain may be different or same if i take the example where alkyl chain is same that is acetone okay you can take c2h5 c double bond o ch3 also okay so it can be same or different next is carboxylic acid Carboxylic acid in this a functional group COOH is present which is attached to the alkyl chain which is also written in this manner C double bond O OH okay the carbon is attached to C uh, oxygen and an hydroxyl group okay the example is CH3 C double bond O OH okay the important thing that you need to focus on is the class and its function group okay example uh, when we'll be uh, discussing nomenclature it will become more clear to you all okay now we'll be seeing the derivative of carboxylic acid so as we already know that derivatives are those compound in which uh, some part of the group is replaced by the other group in carboxylic acid this hydroxyl part in carboxylic acid this hydroxyl part is replaced by the different group and hence the new products that are formed are known as its derivative so the first derivative is amides in amides this oh group is replaced by an nh2 group okay examples acetamide simple in place of r i have written ch3 okay second is acid chloride in acid chloride this oh group is replaced by cl okay same again what i have done in place of r i have written ch3 cl acetyl chloride okay next derivative is ester in ester this ros group is replaced by or dash okay <clears throat> example we see the example ch3 c double bond o c2 h5 here i have taken ch3 and here i have taken c2 h5 
exam uh, name is ethyl acetate okay uh, do not get confused in naming if when we'll be discussing the nomenclature it will be clear at that time okay d is anhydride in anhydride the oh group is replaced by ocor group okay the example ch3 c double bond o o c double bond o o c h3 acid and hydride okay so these are the four derivative so these are the four derivatives of carboxylic acid what are they amides we need to remember it right amides in which this oh group is replaced by nh2 group acid chloride where oh is replaced by cl esters where oh is replaced by or group and anhydride where oh group is replaced by oc or group okay so these are the four derivative of carboxylic acid now discussing the more fun about next functional group next is ether see there there are some uh, there is uh, always a confusion between ether and ester so always remember as we have seen it earlier that esters are the derivative of carboxylic acid that means in this the formula of esters is r c double bond o o r dash okay where ether ether are the organic compound in which r o r dash function group is present where this oxygen is directly bonded to the two uh, either same or different alkyl chain okay example is ch3 o ch3 right what will be the name as it will be di methyl ether or you can take different alkyl chain if i write c2h5 the name will be ethyl methyl ether okay ethyl methyl ether okay so don't get confused between ether and ester next is next is nitro group where no2 function group is present okay next is nitriles c triple bond n group is present next is thiols sh group is present next is last uh, last is amines where nh2 group is present again amides and amines are different function groups again amides were the uh, derivative of carboxylic acid and amines the function group is nh2 so these are some of the important function groups that you will be encountering while we'll be seeing the nomenclature so it is very important that you should know that uh, what are the function group and what are the what are their classes right so now if we sum up this topic that why we need a functional group so functional group is very important in organic chemistry it is said that it is a heart of organic chemistry why because every functional group uh, has its characteristic chemical reaction and by locating that functional group into the molecule we can predict the type of reaction that molecule may undergo okay for example if i have alcohol and i know that it will be soluble in water i'm just giving an example so by knowing uh, how i know that oh is soluble in water because it is its chemical properties okay so if we can locate that functional group or into the molecule we can predict ki ha ye molecule ye reaction undergo kar sakta hai ye compound ye reaction undergo kar sakta hai kyunki usme wo particular functional group present hai okay second is functional group plays a very important role in naming of the compound that is the nomenclature of organic compound is possible because of the presence of functional group uh, ch3oh is methanol how i know that is it is methanol so this naming is possible because of the functional group when we'll be seeing you're discussing iupac nomenclature uh, nomenclature you'll be uh, seeing at that time but i'm giving an example we know that uh, carb when one carbon is present we say meth and for suffix of oh that is alcohol is ol okay so in this manner it is methanol fine that is methanol 
so the naming of organic compound is possible because of the uh, presence of functional group third point is <clears throat> As we know, there are number of organic compounds. So to classify them into the categories, these classes are uh, present uh, in this second third point is um, due to the presence of large number of organic compound. Uh, it is very easy to classify them under the categories. As we have seen, we have categorized the compounds in the classes into the classes of alcohols, aldehydes, ketones. So uh, this is also a very important point. The last point is. Functional groups are the site of the chemical reaction. Whenever there is a functional group present in the compound, the reaction will take place on that functional group. For example, take for a simple example, uh, if I take a primary alcohol and if I oxidize it, this alcohol will be oxidized into the aldehyde okay and if i further oxidize it it will be oxidized into carboxylic acid so if you can see that this part of the compound is constant and the reaction is taking place in the, on onto the functional group so that is why whenever the functional group is present in the compound the reaction will be uh, on the uh, functional group so that's uh, sum up the functional group uh, thank you and have a nice day